Hello, Radiant Soul Light. Great to connect with you on the Soul Path. If you're new to my channel and this amazing community of heart-connected, soul-aligned people, welcome. I'm Michelle. I tune into the frequency through the soul, extending into the expansion and expression of higher self-consciousness to connect in on a soul level to assist in the awakening and awakening through one's soul purpose. So if that's something you're interested in, this place is so yummy and lovely to connect in. I, I really feel such an honor to connect in with everyone through this community, this channel, this frequency of love and light. For this reading, we're looking at your immediate future. If you're new here, all the ways to connect with me as well as the timestamps are in the description box as well. This is soul story number one, and you've got the sword of light. A lot is happening right now. The guides have said, look for the breakthroughs, prepare for the breakthroughs, prepare for the new inside direction that's coming in. Soul story number two, you have earth star activation. And soul story number three, star gathering. And that is the stone, so blue. So you have light blue, green, and I don't know if that's like an aqua blue, turquoise. I don't know, I'll figure out what color it is to put it in the timestamp. So soul story number one, number two, and number three. This is to help align you to your soul path more, your soul purpose, um, expressing your soul purpose in a way that is very fulfilling, abundant, and prosperous for you. For many of you, there may be more than one soul story that you're drawn to. For some of you, this will be new awareness, insight, information, and for many of you, it will be a confirmation to something that you've already received. It's a confirmation on your path to your own intuition, inner knowing, inner guidance, or psychic messages. I'm going to tune in to a soul alignment meditation and attune through the heart to the frequency of the soul. And taking a deeper breath in, breathing in through the nose and out through the nose. Breathing in, pausing at the top of the breath, breathing out. Breathing in a little deeper and breathing out a little longer. Now connect into your own rhythm and flow through your breath. Taking a deep breath in through the crown chakra and breathing out through the heart chakra, sending that love and light out into the world, breathing that love and light back to you. Drawing the breath back up through the crown chakra to that natural pause point above the crown chakra. Pause, aligning to the soul signature frequency. Breathe in again, connecting in, aligning, breathing out, attuning. Breathing out, releasing the love light, wisdom out into the world, drawing it back. And now in your own pace and pattern, breathing in through the soul star point ascension ascending drawing the energy back to you and drawing it out breathing it out your transmitter you're emitting your love light wisdom your frequency of your soul out into the world the earth the universe and may this emission this broadcast come back to you as an echo of love light wisdom and abundance when you're ready, choose the card. Cards are stones that are most resonant for you. Hello, Radiant Light. Decisions, decisions, what to do. You're being placed in a position to understand something more. There, there's some deeper understanding on your path that's very crucial for you right now. 
more than decisions, I really feel for you, it's also about the sword of truth. There's something you're aligning to. And in this alignment, your intention is becoming very strong. You're starting to focus your intention. You're, you're focusing your life, your, your eyes. I, I just heard eye on the prize, eyes on what I want. So this is about a bigger vision perhaps for you that's coming through. This is coming from the higher source energies, God consciousness, your higher self. Many of you have a mission. You have something you want to accomplish, something that you want to do, or that's go going to become very relevant for you in the next month to two months three at the most, but I'm really getting one to two months is, is kind of crucial for you in your life at this time. So you've got the sword of light, divine protection, cords cut, breakthrough energy. Yeah, that's because of the alignment. There's something that you're finally aligning to, or you're feeling the alignment in your body. This is alignment, body, mind, spirit. This is that you have a vision, you have a goal, you something that you want to do. And now it's like, okay, my mind is focused on that, but I'm doing the things, the actions, I'm taking the action. My body is aligned to what I want. This could also be cutting cords from the past that don't fit in. Now, this is for some of you, you could be doing this consciously, overtly. You could be literally saying, oh, I'm not going to be do this anymore, hang out with this person, or I'm going to hang out less with this person or this relationship, or I'm going in this direction, or I'm getting this new job with this kind of people. But for some of you, it's also very energetic. This could be a very strong energetic um, shift for you. This could be releasing a lot of kundalini or creative energy that you now want to manifest from you now want to apply this energy this is this is moving from inspiration into inspired action many of you heard me talk about this in other readings but that's a part of the awakening that we're at is that we're acting from this higher in, information coming in this insight okay so something is definitely kind of really getting you going you perhaps a new dream a goal Let's see, what do you have here? Oh, yeah, visualize. Well, that's why I kept getting vision. So this is about bringing your mind. What's starting to happen or needs to happen is bringing your mind into focus and using it to visualize. So you want to just be aware, are you caught up in worry thoughts? Or And I'm saying process. I'm also a therapist. Process, journal, talk to someone, work with a therapist, a counselor, a spiritual guy. Honor any doubt or fear, or negativity or worry. But then you need to start visualizing what you want and you need to, from the visualization, you need to make a decision to integrate something, at least one to three things, one to three actions that support what it is that you want to do in your life. This is a very potent time for you right now. Anybody that's drawn to this, you're really getting some information or insight from the higher divine mind. And so you're cutting through some kind of obstacle. So I, you could be, a, yeah, breakthrough, cutting through some kind of obstacle, whether within yourself, a misunderstanding or misinformation within yourself or with another person. Uh, this could have profound um, ramifications. This could reverberate out this insight that's coming in for you. Okay, look what we've got here. A new start is coming. Yeah, I'm getting with this group because I got to be honest, you've got the sword of light, but I feel like you have to bring, because you've got emotions are running high. I feel like you're going to have to, um, and this makes sense, balance spirituality and practicality. But I also feel like some of the changes or something you're doing could be very emotional for you, or there could be an emotional situation, perhaps that... Maybe someone got upset with you or snapped at you or have you maybe, but I, what I, what I'm getting very strongly, wow, is the presence of these amazing guides, this guidance. It's saying whatever you're doing, it could cause emotions in someone. Now there could be emotional swings. So you're to bring this dispassionate, dispassionate energy to it. It's like sometimes we have to know who do we tell something to. Some people might not be ready to hear what it is that you want to do. I think that's why you've got the divine protection. You may be trying to tell someone something and it hasn't been the right time. 
they're not available, you're not available, or they have a problem, or you, you get together, or you're texting or phoning, and, 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 and someone else calls in, or someone tell, oh, I got to go, I got to do this, I got, because you're being protected. So if you've been having this situation, the message from spirit to you is let it go, let it go. And what's very interesting with this group that there is a stone it says let go let god that wanted to come in i'm going to put that in here for you because what i'm getting with this message here is you are being divinely protected by by what you think is procrastination or not making something happen or not being able to tell someone something or have that conversation or make the change you want because it's not the right time and you might be you might be poised to push something and it's saying no you need to balance you know it's what you what your vision is what your dreams are what you're getting intuitively you have to bring in the practical or earth balance also because the start is coming the new start the focus whatever it is that you want to do is coming i just heard it's but it's not here yet so some of you could be feeling a little bit um i just heard shy about some things you're shy about initiating something so it's not that you're not meant to initiate but you it, this may not be something that you want to tell everyone yeah it's just in the phase of potential thank you spirit yeah, that's it, it. So right now may not be the time to put it all out there. That may be a month to three months out. You're going to. It's going to happen. It, it, you know, there's a there's a timing to this, a divine timing. But you are protected. And so if you haven't been doing something and you've been down on yourself, why didn't I say that? Why didn't I do that? It's because it's not the time right now. You are in harmony about this, though. You are in harmony with the with the divine plan or whatever it's you're visualizing. Oh yeah, look at that. You've got possibility. Take a breath. Look at that. Yeah, there's a lot of possibilities coming up for you. Really good things. Take a breath with me, okay? And seven is spirit, being guided by spirit. So you see a lot. You want to do a lot. You want to make a lot happen. You will. You are. But some of it is from your higher self you're being asked to take a breath now that could be a pause that could be okay i thought it was going to happen this week i thought it was going to happen this month i thought it was going to happen this year but it is happening it is happening so you could be pushing yourself by a time limit someone else could be pushing you or you could be pushing that i want to talk about this and i i haven't been able to Whatever you've come to this reading about, just know that there is divine protection. And th for some of you, there's protection in your procrastination. Are you not getting something done or put out there? Something better is coming through. And that something better is bringing this breakthrough energy. But I feel like the breakthrough is going to be like an aha, like a an insight or glad I didn't buy that already or glad I didn't do that. Um, you're really being guided. You really are being guided. Um, this group, you very much are being guided and you are opening up to more possibilities. You're going to have a lot more possibilities, a lot more potential coming up. Yeah, look at, because you've got the page of pentacles. So there is birth. There is newness. There is a new beginning. There is a new start in whatever you're asking about. It's coming. It's happening. But it's not happening as quickly. There's a pause point. I was wondering if you were going to get the hangman. But look at what you have here. The Ten of Cups. Now, this could be about a relationship you're hearing back from. Not in the timing. Page of Wands. There's communication. Some of you, this is a job that you is much more fulfilling. Whatever this is, this brings a lot of emotional fulfillment and the start of better finance. Yeah, and I, just as I said, start, we've got the fool. So whatever it is you're going to be doing, you're going to have more possibilities. And I also feel more support. There's someone or, or a group of people or one to two people, maybe three people that are going to be supportive of you. And I also heard that someone's going to speak very highly of you, maybe even recommend you look at that look what you're moving into the world 
that's why this is taking a bit more time and because this is about a bigger transformation that has to happen in pieces yeah there there's certain material earthly considerations that you have to consider that's why this is happening like this but you are in alignment i'm telling you you're bridging from something to the new now some of you this could bring a new person on your path for or someone that is there that it gets stronger maybe you wanted it to be more committed or stronger and it hasn't yet but it's going to because i feel like there's a real knitting a real coming together something is being knit together here something is coming together there, there's a greater connection like we, the sum is greater than the individuals themselves but it is just a beginning so you might want to plunge you might want to just dive deep into something and it's saying no take more of a um, measured approach more of a cyclical approach this is not a deep dive into anything in fact it's almost like the we the breakthrough for you is this wheel turning and then boom you're on the other side of it so a lot of potential here whatever you're coming here and asking about there is a lot of true potential not just pie in the sky or just in your mind some of you it is what's been in your mind what you've been visualizing what you've been envisioning is starting to take shape and form you, you're in a highly creative or process of manifesting bringing what you've imagined what you've planned what you've strategized you're now bringing that into form and that will be happening that is that is I just heard don't you're not commonplace it's not commonplace so something that some of you are wanting to do is kind of unusual or different it's not commonplace it may not be seen a lot some of you this is going to have to do with travel also that you're traveling I just heard overseas where you're getting the message to travel you're getting the message to travel or you're broadening you could be broadening your reach to other states other cities states countries whatever it is that you're doing there's a, and even with the world card yeah there there's something about reaching other people it is a time to invest in yourself and what makes you happy and so something is include yeah look at this you need work that lets you express your creativity writing you're probably going to bring some kind of writing into your life into your career whether it's just journaling or you're actually a writer that could be part of what you do um, I'm getting the message you need to reach hard this is not a small change or cycle and you got the renewal card so you also need to think about your mental emotional health so again physical health the balance aspect of you is important some of you this is planning for your future this could be a time for investments you might be investing in yourself your education a, a different you know there might be investments um, you're needing to be flexible yeah so there is something you're attracting this match that has to do with business some of you yes it could be relationship and the, the or the relationship gets stronger or more cohesive or you have a goal that's coming in with the two of you those of you that are kind of matched already there's a new goal coming in where you're building something in your life some of you this call to new life brings in a relationship now this is pretty much immediate future so I'm really getting this you know one to two months maybe three months one to three months I'm getting this is really coming in for some of you I'm, I'm doing this during the fall late fall I could be in the winter months um spirit is also saying you need to be flexible at this time also because you're getting a new perspective on something or some or someone or some decision that's coming in okay I need some more messages on this what is it's all about the timing the time being in alignment so this is also about right place at right time this is why the message coming in for you is really about not pushing anything and really trusting your body wisdom 
trusting the vibes, the messages that you're getting, because spirit is placing you in this alignment. You're, you're getting in this universal alignment for this new pathway, this new direction that brings more emotional fulfillment, financial fulfillment, it, that there's a new start here. There's a new beginning, but it's just at the beginning phase. So this is like a birth, a blossoming. This is kind of like the baby crowning. This is not the full breakthrough, even though that happens. Right now, it's breakthrough energy. That's the key word, energy. It's not a breakthrough's coming. It, you're in the breakthrough energy. So you need to stay within this energetic cycle to allow the breakthrough. And this discernment is working for you, whether, it, whether it's connecting into your higher self, um, whatever it is, it's working for you. Let's get another card here. Okay. You see back here, I've got cards all around me. <laughs> I love my cards. Okay. So yeah, you're in the energy of the breakthrough. The message is stay with the energetic flow. Stay with what you're doing. Don't get pulled off path, especially by someone that um yeah look at this what you're working on is divinely guided that's why there's divine protection and six it's about the harmony the harmonization whatever you're pulling in drawing in you're aligning to the messages here for many of you is a confirmation and this connection this situation this job this for some of you it's going to bring a lot of abundance so if you're feeling trapped financially, you're feeling trapped in a particular situation, there is a shift that's coming that moves you into a new level, a new world. And some of you, this world could be out of this world, literally. It, it could be literally that you are moving into this more transcendent, spiritual aspect of you where more is possible. Like you're moving out of 3D awareness and consciousness. You're moving more into 5D and above. This is, this is almost like the, the hand of fate or the hand of God. This is, this is an opening, a leg up. But there is, the, again, you're in the breakthrough energy. So stay put. Your, your dreams are, are manifesting. What it is that you want, that you desire, is manifesting. It might be slower, but it's there. Okay? That's what Spirit is saying. It might be slower. It might not be in the way that you thought, but it is there. Now let's get a Druid Animal Oracle. And, and because your reading is very much, even though you've got the sword of light in it, it has a lot to do with the mental realm, but you've got the page of wands here and the page of pentacles. It's a lot to uh, email, communication, a lot to do with communication, you or others doing that. Let's see what we've got here. We have got... <laughs> I'm getting a lot with nurturing. Now you've got the cow. Oh, I used to see, and that looks like an ancient cow, right? So this cow has a lot to do with nourishment, taking care of yourself, again, the deep breath, but nourishing a relationship, a plan, a project. So trusting that it is unfolding. This is also bringing protection from harmful influences. Now, some of you might be around some people that aren't doing as well, or maybe you have a, you had a burst of faith or optimism and some are not as well. Now, this could be friends or family. This could be what you're seeing on, on media, on regular media, you know, the news or whatever. But it's saying that there's a divine protection with you. And also I wanna say that there's a divine thread not only of protection and hope, but there's a divine thread through all of life, all of creation that is going into what is more survival, moving from surviving to thriving. So there is a transformative element that is happening in your life and in life in general. 
So right now you could benefit by more sleep or taking some downtime, going within, um, really focus maybe on nourishment, whether food or emotional nourishment, what emotionally nourishes you and fulfills you. You may be doing that for others. And it's also about allowing others to do that for you as well. So you're co connecting to this nourishing stream within the universe. That's what's coming next. And you're going to be sharing that abundance with others. So this is a time to just open up that there's there's nothing you need to do right now. Honestly, it, it, you just need to be in the energy of the breakthrough, the energy of abundance, and let this the energy do its thing. Let your higher self guide the energy and you just respond to it. That's what I'm getting for you. Okay, let's take a... Okay, got the Astro Dice. I'm going to take one Rune card to see what comes up. Bovine. You could be somewhere where there's a lot of cows or going to the country also. There's a lot about renewal of self i don't believe it look at this protection cow is about nourishing and protection you've got the sword of light divine protection and now you have protection here so what if you've been fearing something or something's been unsettling you're not only are you protected those around you but also the world to some degree right there there is protection there we don't always understand what's going on around us um, and then the astro dice you have is whoops mars this is so perfect though mars in pisces faith put your faith let go let god in the third house your thoughts your lower thoughts some of you it could be good for you to focus on affirmations maybe you write them maybe start reading them yourself maybe work on them you also have a gift of inspiring others so that could be something that's very useful for you. But right now, Mars and Pisces, put your energy in what's inspirational. Put your energy, your mental focus also into what is inspiring, emotionally fulfilling, um, what is peaceful, what is hopeful, bringing in hope and faith and communicating that hope and faith because that is there. No matter what we're going through individually or as a collective, as a humanity, is particular soul groups, there is the hope, the faith, there is a better way. And so for you, a better way is being created right now that will manifest for you in your immediate circumstances is what I'm hearing. Your soul insights mantra is I trust in the higher self and my connection to the universe, the divine, knowing that a better way is being co-created for me. Love and light. Hello, Radiant Light. Okay, let's see. You have Earth Star Activation, if you chose Soul Story number two. Anchoring, grounding, action, Isis energy. Whoa, with the Merkaba there. This is all about manifesting. As above is so below. You are a channel. Now, this could be a channel for healing light energy, channeling messages, um, artistic channel, a mystic. But there's something you're drawing down, you're creating. And I'm looking at this as the chalice of the Holy Grail, this opening. This is the perfect balance of the inner masculine and inner feminine. This is about directing your life. But there's something that you've come here. Now, this is immediate future reading. Is this an epiphany? Is this a, this is something that you're meant to create or manifest in the world? Grounded action. This is action that is very deliberate, what we call deliberate action or deliberate creation. That inspiration to inspired action, but conscious creation. Um, that is the universal law. Conscious creation, creating consciously. That means with the idea that it's coming through you and you're anchoring it, you're manifesting it, you're, but you're anchoring what is already present etherically. Oh, and you've got money. Now that's interesting. The green. 
Whatever you're manifesting or drawing in or anchoring is bringing in more money, plain and simple. Abundance, money. The money to do more of what it is that you want to do. For some of you, this is also money that helps people. There's something that you're going to be doing that's very um, helpful or helps humanity. Um, but you are a manifester. If you haven't been lately, the, the immediate future, the shift is that you want to manifest. Let's see what's coming out here. Oh, yeah. Show the world the real you. And a win-win outcome. So your abundance helps those around you. Your abundance, your flow of money or increase of the flow of money helps you. So I think what I'm getting by this message is by you showing the real you, by being the more authentic you, by really not getting caught up in, and pulled to the side of trends or what you think is hip or cool or happening, um, you're going to manifest more in your life. You're going to actually have more money. This this reading is actually pretty straightforward. And, and it's not just because the money is there, but the anchoring. So money is simply a, an out picturing of it's an, a it's an a result. It's an outcome from something. It's not the only result or only outcome. And if we're living from abundance or prosperity, there are many ways to be abundant. You could have less money, more resources or more support or people helping you, or you could live a luxurious life and have less money it doesn't have to be yours but specifically to you if you've been asking the question is what I'm doing going to bring the money I need or money that I want yes and what you're learning to do is to work through fears now soul story number one had a little bit of that very different reading but I feel like one of the things that God consciousness is having us all do is work through our fear and, uh, and focusing on the externals. You can see it in what's happening in the world, especially with the United States, governmental stuff that's going on. People are so fearful. They're not trusting. Even spiritual teachers, people that are supposed to be very spiritual, are, are focused on the externals only. And so fear, when we're coming from fear, it manipulates. We manipulate or we get manipulated. Now, fear is a natural human emotion. It's an important emotion. It can teach us so much. It, it has us cross the street when the big dog is there that somebody later gets bit from the dog. You know what I mean? It, 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 it's, it, it's tribal, though, too. Fear is also within the reptilian brain. The obli obli um, yeah, the reptilian brain. Medulla oblongata. We will have less of that, just like we, when we're moving more telepathically, when more people are telepathic, when we're able to connect more by resonance and read resonance, when we're able to read our soul codes, we're going to have less need for that. But right now, that's the ego part, that it's not bad, it's fine, it's good, it's, it's what it is. But we're not to make our bigger decisions from that. So that's a very clear message from you. Do not, from you, <laughs> how do you like that? Yes, from you, from your higher self is saying, do not make your decisions based on your fears. Do not what you fear could happen or could not happen. Now, always easy to say, harder sometimes to do, but if you have a protocol, you have a way of processing. Yeah, see, there's change that you're ca calling in. This new level of money is going to allow you to make the changes that you want. And I love that you got the healing chaos. I'm always talking about this on my Patreon and in my workshops and with individual clients. Chaos is a funnel. It's source energy. It's transformative. Look at that. You've got the butterflies. Healing chaos, using chaos to heal, to tap into abundance, prosperity, money, to create it's harnessing that energy chaos won't always be there when things start getting more systemized organized sometimes even become more rigid we don't have the random access energy so right now there's a lot of creative energy which is what that's telling me is change your focus from what you fear to what you want use what's going on in the world and life to create a win-win outcome that's what the universe wants that's what god wants that's what god consciousness wants does not want us stuck in the extremes of polarity a win-win situation so for you when you find how there can be more win-win situations 
you're going to do much better in your life. You're going to attract and draw in more of what it is that you want. Now, I do hear with you there are workable solutions. You're able to work through this. There's something that you're wanting to work through besides your fears or doubt or limitation or misunderstanding. But this is clearly about not manifesting through fear, not getting caught up in the fear. If you don't get caught up in the fear, you're going to have a lot of abundance and a lot of prosperity. And that's the message for you. A very important message coming in, I would say. Two of Pentacles. Yeah, you're doubting yourself about something. Yeah, Ten of Cups. That keeps coming. They're actually, you're doing okay. Page of Pentacles. It may be further off than what you want. Five of Pentacles. Yeah, there's fear there. Fear of money, fear you won't have enough, fear there won't be enough in the world. There is going to be enough, there's enough, there'll be more than enough. But you're going to find out how to tap into it through your what genuinely you're drawn to, what, what emotionally fulfills you, what brings that emotional fulfillment. This change is bringing a new perspective, a new understanding, and this inner strength. Wow, look at what we've got, gain. So I feel like you might have, um, and let's get this out there, the world, okay, the empress rather, but the world card. So I feel with you, if you had a dip financially or, you know, maybe things slowed down, they're about to pick up again because you're moving into a phase of increase, gain, increase, abundance. Um, for some of you, this is work or something you've put out in the world. So you're moving from that five of pentacles to the nine of pentacles. So if you had a little dip, sometimes when we make changes in our life or we adjust or change a direction or we integrate something or just life happens, there can be a dip, but it's coming back. And so you're going to be feeling that abundance again. So I definitely get with this group in the immediate future, there's abundance, there's prosperity through resources, through people that are helping you, through your own inner knowing, your own inner guidance, but also whatever it is that you're doing in your life financially, there is an increase in money. Okay, so you could be coming from a time where you're kind of having to balance things out, maybe budget, and the flow is changing. Now, Spirit is saying it is a good idea for you to budget still, but not from a place of lack but from a place of, I may want to do something down the road with this. I may want to do something else. Okay. So you, you may have some plans that come in. And then we've got success. I had to pull that. You've also got happiness. So this is just a little blip. You've had a blip. Is it a blip in a relationship? Misunderstanding? Financial? Did you feel you misunderstood something in your life at this time, a direction or a decision that you made? It's changing, you know, it, the change that's coming for you is bringing in more financial stability or fi money. You might be going through challenges right now, but that's changing. And I feel like for some of you, it could, the increase could be another source of income or you add to something that you're doing this is the time to add this is not the time to cut away or or um yeah it's time to take action that's grounded in what it is that you want but it's also time to follow through so some of you may have not been following through enough if you follow through that's going to bring that success that we see here happiness and success so there could be a financial healing um if you're drawn to this soul story, the soul could be pulling you out of la lack and limitation. Let's see what we've got here. Okay, I'm not getting anything. Let's see from this deck. Aha, just as I said that, what flew out. Soul searching. It's time to go within and uncover your true feeling. Well, to be genuine. So how do you really feel about something or someone or some situation? How do you feel about what you're going through? Any doubt, any lack, any fears? How do you really feel? Allow yourself to really be honest and genuine with yourself about what you're fearing. And then you move into looking at what can I do? Or sometimes it's just being with the, with the feeling, the fear, the fear feeling, right? And not changing track, right? 
taking the actions that you need to take. Some of you need to take some actions. What's happening is you need to take some actions. You haven't taken act the actions you need to take, the follow through, the due diligence. Once you do, and maybe you needed a little break. I don't know, but I definitely feel like if you've been budgeting, if you've been held back, whether spending or maybe maybe you, maybe for some of you this could even be emotionally that you were just jumped into things and now you're taking a different approach. So we've got plan for the future while living in the present. You are always supported by spirit. Your psychic abilities can bring you prosperity. So some of you could be psychic, very gifted. Maybe you want to integrate that. Or maybe you want to start doing that. Maybe you're asking, oh, could I make money doing this? Yes, yes. Because whatever that you've come here for, the, the money, the prosperity comes from you being genuinely you and doing something that's also emotionally fulfilling for you to show the world the real you. So there could be, a new, for some of you, there's a new job or you're taking a chance on yourself, something that you want to do. You're putting yourself out there. I definitely feel for you, you're putting yourself out there. You, you now have, and, and that brings in this new life. I'm going to take one more because to me, this sums it up. You're uncovering new talents that will land you new work and better position. You could get more money with a deal. So some of you, this is a new job. Some of you, this could be just you putting yourself out there in the world more, whatever it is that you do consciously, you know, just trying the thoughts, the possibilities that are coming up and following through. You really need to follow through. I can't stress that enough with this group. You need to follow through. You haven't been following through, so story number two. I get it. You don't always follow through, but it's time to follow through. Make a plan. Maybe in the new year you make a plan and you, you, you make it in a way that you can easily do it. Now, this is interesting. Your foxy self. So again, this is, you've got to put yourself out there. What does that mean? The true you. This is also about focusing on the fox. It has a lot to do with focusing on career, but also being yourself and kind of, you know, I don't know, you little sexy, a sex cat, sex kitten, you know, it just kundalini energy, mastering your energetic flows. The fox has a lot to do with what, how do you want your, how do you want your energetic flows to go? How do you want to manifest them? right? So this is also talking about strategy. You might have to be a little more strategic, strategic, strategic. You might have to be a little more strategic with what you're planning or what you're creating, but that's okay. Time, you know, it's on your side, but you need to follow through now. This is showing the real you, opening up to the real you. You know, be diplomatic. You might not want to reveal everything to everyone, you know, or the right place, right time. You might be in a big healing phase, but you might, some of you are going to be moving in this phase. That's it. I'm going to do it. I'm going for it. I'm showing this. I'm doing this. I'm moving out. I'm doing that. I'm putting myself out there. And it might come off a little bold <laughs> to some people, right? This is the message to not remain invisible. Let yourself be seen. Okay. This is the time to be seen in your life. It's time for you to shine your light. That's another way of saying it. It's time for you to be seen. Now, let's pick a rune card. Some of you that have been coming for a while, you know I love these rune cards. I love my rune stones too. And I've got some rune gift stones that I also love from Ziggy. Ziggy, if you're listening. Um, the one, the stone. Oh, Jira, taking time. All right, but Jira is achievement that you will achieve your goal or goals you will this is bringing in a bigger achievement i'm going to take a card also for some reason yeah so it's going to happen but yeah some of you you might ruffle some feathers because you're going you might be less silent you might start speaking up more you might be saying your opinion more and it's going to take a few people by surprise they're going to be kind of like ooh, ooh, movement yes trust partnership yeah so you could have some people helping you. This is about trusting where you are as you move past the fears. But movement, again, this is positive movement. This could be moving a house, uh, relocating, 
this is trusting your instinctual knowing your higher you know higher and lower self the instinctual aspect of you your intuition working in partnership with the divine working in partnership with your higher self moves you beyond the fears let's put that there because a new beginning is at hand didn't it say that win-win solution i feel like a new beginning didn't it yeah new life knew it i knew it all right let's get a message from the astro dice for soul story number two. Ooh, second house money come on guys use your gifts you have money Ooh, venus use your gifts venus in aquarius in the second house you need to just throw it out there. Is it resumes? Is it your way you post? Is it online? Is it books? Is it consulting? Is it your ideas? This is for humanity. This is widening your social group, winding your wide, widening your friend group, winding. Oh wait, hold on. There's a message. Winding out of lack and limitation. Okay, winding out of not having enough. Once you start being more and more you and connecting in and finding that and giving yourself a chance to play, be your foxy self, just play with ideas, play with different things. Really play with people. This is like soulmate energy, create mate, just play, have more fun. You're going to receive more money. But second house is your gifts, whatever your authentic gifts are, the, as you show the real you, you unlock what's been locked up inside of you. And you're also helping humanity. It's win-win. It helps you because it's what you love doing. And it helps others. And it helps you because it brings more money in. And it helps others to achieve whatever they want to achieve or whatever you're doing. This is a, such a great reading for you. I hope you screenshot this. Screen grab. Do a screen grab. Now, it's not happening overnight. But you are going to start seeing money increase in your life. This is success. Jira means that the bigger changes are happening in the fall months probably august september um, this is a timeless reading so take it as you will or one year this one year from now you'll be in, in a, an amazing place financially you're on your way there you're on your way that's it i'm on my way here i go all right your soul insights mantra is i'm on my way here i go to success fulfilled life love and prosperity or if you even want to call it in stronger to more money so once you do your soul searching like okay how can i be more authentic how can i do this more in my own way and what do i really want to do what do i really want to say what do i really want to communicate then things line up so show the real you to to everyone that, that again that's such an evolving thing because we as we learn more about ourselves we become more our, the real us and that's the process that you're in lots of love and light and big hug to you hello radiant light well this is soul story number three i'm hearing monica and then i heard santa monica and i am hearing a lot to do with traveling movement the immediate future, if some of you are in California or Santa Monica or near there or you're visiting or you're moving there, um, I, I am getting a shuffling energy in the immediate future. Either you are moving in the middle of a move or you're about to move or you're planning on moving. So there's something about um, a transition that you're in that's bringing a physical transition now this could also be moving jobs is also okay we've got where there's a will there's a way oh i love that where there's a will there's a way you're making it happen with what you have spirit is saying you have everything you need inside you around you to make the changes you want to do star gathering stars aligned remembering home soul family some of you are moving to a place or you're planning this move. You could be visiting there back and forth or you could already have just moved that you feel this alignment, like it's, it's nurturing your soul. Whether you feel like you've lived there before, another time, or you feel there's a part of you that was always there. Um, I'm, I'm getting some of you homesick. I'm sick 
for my home, my home country, my hometown, my home system, my home constellation, my home star system. So some of you are star seeds that are missing home. You're missing that connection. Some of you, the missing is someone or being on the other side, whether a person, a family member, a teacher, a guide, a, a loved one, a fur baby, an animal being, a guide. This is, this is, there's a yearning for you. Now this yearning is going to start this amazing cycle of you connecting with more people. Now, if you've been a little on your own or to yourself, or you've been in a dark night of the soul or hermit mode, you're going to start moving outward or people are coming to you or you're coming to them. Both, both. It's, it's both. So it's interesting that card star gathering. Well, the star gathering, it's the star seeds gathering, the light workers gathering, the, those of like mindedness, not like minded vibrationally by resonance, the totality. So you could find yourself with some very different people around you. Wow, there's a, okay. Speak it, baby. Jump off of that crystal. You have more to say. Yeah, you have to believe, not only believe it's possible, but this is about aligning your little will to the higher will. The will of the higher self. The will of the divine, the universe, God, consciousness. So... Where there's a will, there's a way. They really want you to look at that. Where there's a will, there's a way. So it's important that you connect with others at this time and be open to that, whether IRL, right, in real life, online, virtual. But you could feel this need to want to have a family or more people around you or a bigger group around you. Hold your vision. Look at that. Beautiful. Some of you, it's the vision of more friends or family or a group or something that a community, maybe living communally. Or um, I'm also hearing you will be able to afford the property. I don't know that it's in the immediate future. Uh, if you are going for a house, a home, or a lease, that the money will be there. You'll be able to do it. Okay, so let me see. What do we have here? Be bold and make the first move. Yeah, this is about initiating action. Although I see people coming to you and openings and opportunities coming to you, I feel you. this is about you extending out into the world. You see, your hard work is paying off. New moon in Capricorn. So look for that new moon in Cappy. This is immediate future, so you're going to have some kind of opening during the, at the new moon in Capricorn to show how your hard work is paying off. I really feel like you've been working tirelessly. Uh, this soul story, I feel like you could be have worked a lot and not quite seen the full moon. You've not seen the culmination yet. I don't even see it in here. There's just a lot of energy, a lot of etheric. There's a lot of work. There's a lot of putting things in order. There's a lot of follow through. But the the big payoff that you want and pay out hasn't yet happened. Yeah. And here's a message for you. Your commitment's being tested. So you're on the right track. It just hasn't paid off yet or paid out. It's going to. You've had you've seen some success, but there there is a bigger vision that you have that is going to, that is going to happen and it is for sure five thousand percent going to bring the right people in your life maybe more people or the right people you're going to have that support that you need and want yeah it's going to bring a lot of delight joy you really want to you don't mind working hard but you really want um the the an energy shift that it's not so hard or laborious. Now, this could be also through your chart is what I'm hearing. There could be certain aspects because I don't feel it's something that you aren't doing, quote unquote, right or co correctly. Some of you have simplified. You've pared down a lot, and that's also helping. Keep it simple right now. Don't get over complicated with things. Let's see what we've got here. Illumination. Yeah. So you're going to have this aha, this epiphany, 
because you're going to see a sign. Spirit is going to give you a sign that it's paying off, that your hard work is paying off. You're about to have a sign. Now let's see if we can get what is that sign from the higher self. What is the sign through spirit? I just heard it's something that you're able to afford. Now I'm going to, these two cards, look, we've got the star because I get a lot with you with community. So we've got the star card, Aquarius energy, the empress. Wow, the ace of swords, the ace of wands, death, nine of pentacles that's the delight the gain so there is a part on your path coming up very soon that's going to give you hope because it inspires you it, it, you're going to be able to afford to buy something or do something you didn't think you were going to be able to do it's a tangible gift or a gift of money or you or increase of money and just as i said gift of money look what we have here gifts so it could be around the holiday season Spirit wants you to prepare for more. Be honest with yourself. Be grateful. Be in that space more of appreciation. Because whatever you do, you're, you, something's increasing. Clients, customers, people buying your gifts, your jewelry, whatever you sell, whatever you are talking well about, your referral. If you're going for a job, that you, get the, you get it because somebody gave you a great um, referral is what I'm getting. So people are starting to see what you do. They're starting to notice you. They're starting to see. And, and some of you could bring illumination. You could bring understanding to people. Some of you, you bring joy. You bring this level of delight. Some of you, I, I just heard their cooking is really great. So some of you, it's, but I, I, it could be even just receiving more compliments. And look what we have coming out here. The emperor, Aries energy. And then Ace of Pentacles. So that Ace of Pentacles and Nine of Pentacles brings increase, financial increase. So this is a focal point. So you're working with what you have. Spirit is saying work with the resources you have. Work with the money you have. Work with the people you have, the situation. Work within existing circumstances because there is a transformative element in your circumstance. This is very important for you cannot stress it enough there is a there is a transformative element in what you're doing <clears throat> and the situation the circumstance sometimes we just have to let the cycle work for us because the energy of change the energy of hard work paying off of building is there even though you don't see it yet but it is there yeah unfolding Access to greater prosperity is opening up for you slowly. You are growing as you learn more and keep expanding. Yeah, so this is not a fast thing. It's a cycle. It's a moon cycle. So you're going to have some kind of payoff or payout or your hard work. You're going to have an example, a demonstration, what we call metaphysically or spiritually an esoteric doctrine, principles. Okay, there's another card that fell trying to get it okay see that's telling me something is beyond your reach right now so the spirit is saying don't push it's happening look at this though glad i picked it up good luck your fortune is improving and you will get a lucky break soon collect nuggets of wisdom you will need them in the near future so be looking at what worked what didn't work what helps me vibrationally what helps me mentally emotionally what helped other people what what, what worked what didn't work, whether personally, individually, with clients, customers, within the business. A lot of you are going for something new, whether this is a new job, some, a new way of living, something that's new, it's going to bring a lot more harmony. Yeah, see, money matters a lot now. Watch your expenses. That's what I saw. Just... But don't... I don't... This is not about being in lack consciousness. This is just about... There's something you may want to do in the future. Oh, by, okay, be just conscious because you have harmony 
when you're not overcommitting yourself, whether financially, emotionally, through relationships, obligations, this is something that you're learning is not to overcommit yourself. So that's some of the new awareness that's coming in for you is not to overcommit or overstretch yourself and really look at what is really helping me. What is really helping me? What is really supporting me in my life at this time? Where is the true support? And that is when you align to that, that's when the bigger changes are going to come. Okay. Okay, I just heard boar and bee. We got two here. So bee having a lot to do with community. And I just heard be faithful to your goals. Be faithful to your path, to your purpose. So letting yourself be faithful. And this, whatever is coming in, this gift, you're going to be able to, do, you're going to want to do something with it, fine, you know, with the fine, the increase in finance, I feel for your business. Getting a lot with you with business. I got to be honest. Or project, let's look at B now. B has to do with community. It's also about a celebration or coming together with others. This could be holidays, beginning of the year. Again, this is a timeless reading, but I do feel like there is something of a coming together. You're coming together with others to enjoy each other's company. This is about working together in a community or working within a group or a family to, to open up to working with more people. That's going to also bring in the abundance is what I'm hearing. And I'm being shown, um, I got the letter J, got the letter A for abundance, abundance. Sowing seeds. You've been sowing the seeds and now the seeds are about to pay off. So you... It's not even about deserving. It's just right now that things are building. You're about, you're getting the message. And boar roots, you know, they eat the, the mushrooms, right? So, yeah, isn't it mushrooms? Yeah. Um, but they're able to dig for things. So you're digging for your gold. I almost feel like this is a gold hat. Yeah, you're digging for treasure. This is like going within, deep within, and then pulling it up or having these ideas or dreams and then putting that into motion. So you're, whatever has kind of been a little hidden or underground or hasn't quite peaked yet, you're about to have a peak performance. Truffles, that's right. They dig for truffles, mushrooms, truffles, but especially truffles. They root them out. So this is something about... a. a your soul gifts becoming more apparent and you using them. This is also about leadership and carving out a new direction. And I feel that this direction has to do with other people. This is also about using your power to move yourself forward, your empowerment, your going in a, in a new direction. Now, this could be inspiration. You're inspiring a community or a community is inspiring you or both you're being inspired and they're inspiring or something in humanity. There, there's a connection here that's talking a lot about inspiration. Moving towards your inspiration brings you luck, brings you joy. Okay, let's get a rune card. Few increase. Yeah, you're learning, you're being tested. Your commitment is being tested. You're, go you're going through a learning lesson of follow through, follow up, um, take action, make the decisions that are in best in alignment for you because what's happening is ing. This is new growth. This is endings, but new beginnings. And you've got the death card. So you're in a gestation period where the inner growth will soon be seen in the outer growth. Something is about to sprout for you. A tangible result is about to sprout for you. And that sprouting is going to bring you a confirmation. It's going to bring you hope. It's going to bring you the energy, the focus, the drive, the inspiration, the motivation to do your next steps. Okay, let's see. Soul story number three. Aligning to a message for you. Wow, you got Mercury here. 
Ooh, Mercury and Aries. Speak it, say it. Some of you, this is signing of contracts. Could be getting out of a contract or job in first house. Yeah, be mindful of how you speak to yourself. Even if it's forceful, let it be loving. You've got the bee and the boar. Both of these could, this could have a stinger. This could bite. So Spirit is saying just be nurturing to yourself, even if you're trying to motivate yourself or you're thinking, why hasn't this happened? Or I didn't do this right. Or I'm stupid. Or I, I missed this turn. Or I missed that. Or this didn't happen. The, both of these are talking about new growth, something seeded that's unfolding. Okay, so there's a blossoming that's coming in for you. You are on the right track or right path. Your commitment is being tested. Your commitment to follow through, to keep at it, to do what needs to get done. Once you're over this, you find yourself in a new level, a uh, new level of thinking, of consciousness, awareness, and a new level financially and also with your manifesting ability. So a lot is coming through this healing, healing the receptive nature, creative nature, the nature to understand that you have your own gift to put out there in the world. Your soul path uh, mantra is as I align to my higher self and connect into my soul it, it, is, it is easy to follow through in what I need to do or need and want to do yeah so it's about the soul alignment for you when you connect into your soul and you feel that passion that purpose it's like okay I can do it one more day one more day you know one more week one more month one more year you know whatever it is you can follow through for yourself and that is what's creating the change for you that's the change point oh we had one more let's see if there was a message here one more reading one more me card for the reading yeah let's see what we've got here oh yes that one wanted to show up earlier. Yeah, time to move past your comfort zone and into the unknown. Stretch yourself. Be yourself. Stretch yourself. Yeah, stre this is about stretching yourself. Be bold. Be dynamic. You may want to do a screenshot. All right, Radiant Solat, thank you so much for the honor of connecting with you and tuning in for you. Lots of love, light, and abundance.